Good afternoon, Scott. My name's Matt. I'm uh, doing a video tour from you. Uh, we're obviously here at Springwood Nissan. I just want to take you through the uh, 2009 4 FPV Falcon GS that we currently have in our stock available for sale. Now this car I'm going to take you through is one of the nicest we've seen on this yard. Uh, this particular vehicle is a special edition. It is made by FPV. It is a GS and it's a limited edition car. As you can see as I give you a look at this particular car, you'll notice a few of the things that uh, basically make it stand out from the pack. Number one would be its body styling, which is all FPV, and its striping, which really uh, make it stand out on this particular car. As we go around, I'll show you a few of the different features of this particular vehicle and why, uh, why it's such a nice and lovely car that uh, might be something you'd possibly like to own. Now, this particular car itself does come with a lot of extra features being an FPV. It does come with the FPV sports front bumper, as you can see here, um, with the uh, driving lights and the extra extensions. Um, it also has the uh, FPV badging and grille, and it's got the FPV bonnet striping, which you can see the big Boss 302 just there. One of the features of these particular cars is they came with the 19-inch FPV charcoal alloy wheels, which, as you can see, are in lovely condition. Um, these particular wheels and tyres are uh, absolutely great. They're basically uh, almost new all the way around. You can see there there's plenty of meat in the tyre tread. As we look up the side of the car, you'll see there's no damage, no nothing on this particular car. It's clean, it's straight, it's everything you'd want it to be. This car was actually a one owner and has a genuine 24,000 kilometres. One thing you'll also notice as we go down the side of the car is the uh, GS striping, which is specific to this particular model. Also makes it stand out, especially that black on the white. It's absolutely lovely. One other thing about this car, uh, Scott, is that you will notice that it is a, a, a limited edition. It's build number 209 of 250 uh, from Ford Performance Vehicles, which gives it that little bit of extra authenticity and a little bit of extra collectability. Um, you'll also notice it's got the nice dark black tinted windows just here. And as we go around the back, you'll also see that it has the charcoal, uh, charcoal alloys again, and again with uh, basically near new uh, tyres on the back of the car. As we go around, you'll see the FPV body styling keeps going. We've got the rear wing with the uh, 302 uh, stickering on the back, which is specific to the kilowatts of the car. Um, we get around to the back, you'll also notice the FPV rear bumper bar and the fact that it's got that lovely dual exhaust, um, which also gives a lovely note, and it's rear FPV and GS uh, boot badging. One thing I'll also show you about this particular car is the amount of space it has in the boot. You'll see as we go inside, it's got a nice, deep, big boot specific to the Falcons, and that rear seat actually has a 60-40 split, which is pretty handy. You can put a bit extra gear in there if you need to. Also see in the back here, we have a genuine set of FPV floor mats which go with the car. Now, I'll take you around to the other side of the car. You'll see up the side of this car, up uh, this side of the car, sorry, that it's nice and clean, nice and straight, no marks, nothing on there. Um, it's absolutely lovely in fantastic condition. I'll take you around and give you a look you can see it's everything you'd expect it to be. Absolutely lovely. Again, wheels in great condition. No gutter rash, no marking. Um, exactly what you'd be after. This car has plenty of space as well inside. Absolutely lovely. You'll see in the back of the car, there's plenty of space. Plenty of room, nice and comfortable. And it's got that sporty feel with the, uh, the nice cloth trim here with the uh, basically the, the different inserts in the center of the seats. A lot of room, rear air conditioning vents. And you'll see that all the trims Everything's all in nice condition, all around the side of the doors and so forth. And one thing you may notice up the back there, these actually have an upgraded, upgraded sound system as well. You'll see the big speaker cover in the back there for the factory subwoofer, which is a nice little feature as well to have. In the front of the car, I suppose is where it all happens. Uh, this is where you spend the majority of your time. One thing you'll notice as you get into the car is it does have the um, FPV uh, stainless steel sill panels, which are a nice little touch. You'll see the door trims on this side, again, in great condition, no wear, no marking. Inside the car, it has the uh, sports bucket seats as well. You'll see they're nice and contoured and are very, very supportive in great condition. No markings, no staining, no wear on them whatsoever. These seats are actually the same as what you get in the GT, except for the fact that these ones don't have the GT logo embroidered. In the front, sport steering wheel and FPV sport dash. Again, pretty much brand new. The floor, this is a manual, so you will see that extra pedal sitting there. You do have the aluminium plated uh, sports foot pedals as well. I'll just jump in the car and give you a look. Inside, you'll see that FPV instrument cluster that I was talking about. Car has 24,311 Ks on the clock. Um, has a full multi-function steering wheel for both audio and cruise control, and also Bluetooth. This car does have Bluetooth and iPod connectivity, which is a nice little feature to have. Six-speed manual, you'll see the FPV gear knob just there. Cup holders. 
obviously your FPV uh, Special Edition 209 logo on the dash, or your climate controls and multifunction controls, and also your LCD central display uh, screen, which we'll, we'll turn on in a second. One thing this car also has is it's full logbooks, um, and this car was a one owner, as I mentioned, nice low case. It's got a full service history, which you can see here. First one, second one, and we've got the third one, which has just been completed at 24,300k, so full history to go along with it. What I'll do for you, I'll just start her up. Now this car uh, does have the 5.4 litre Boss uh, V8, which is a quad cam V8 making 302 kilowatts. It's a very punchy, very nice engine. Um, I'll just turn her all on here for you. Uh, one thing we do have is a push button start in this car, which is quite nice. So there she goes, she's cranking over now. As you can see, idling along nice and smoothly. A um, little bit of lumpiness to it, which is nice. Um, you'll see there's no lights, nothing on on the dash. Everything's running as it should. I'll move to the central display. You can see your color central display screen right there, which is another nice little touch, something uh, pretty specific to these. It's got all the little features and whatnot and everything comes on as you, as you uh, turn it and move it. I can turn the radio up. It's not actually on the station at the moment. Um, but then we've also got our climate control and whatnot, which is all controlled on this particular on this particular system as well. You can put it on auto. It's dual zone. You can go side to side, which is a nice touch. Um, just those little things make this car that little bit special. I'll take you under the bonnet to where it all happens. Give me two seconds. I'll lift this bonnet with the lovely uh, lovely FPV bonnet bulge there and the stickering, as I mentioned, and you'll see the uh, the Boss uh, 5.4 litre V8 underneath. Now, this was the last of the uh, 5.4 litre V8s. Absolutely beautiful engine. Plenty of throttle response and punch. You'll see the uh, the brilliant blue Ford uh, intake uh, intake plenum, the rocker covers, and uh, it's actually quite a large engine in size, hiding those quad cams underneath. A lot of performance, a lot of go, 302 kilowatts. As you can see, neat and tidy, clean as underneath here. Um, everything is ticking away nice and smoothly, as you would expect for a 24,000 kilometer car. I'll just pop this down for you. And basically give you one more one more overview, one more look at this particular car. As you can see, it's an absolutely lovely car, definitely something you'd love to have sitting in the garage. If you'd like to take this car off the market with a small holding deposit, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we definitely want to earn your business. Um, you can contact us on 3442-8230. That's 3442-8230. We appreciate your time and thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.